Okay, so we're going to talk about using some basic effects or filters inside of Adobe Premiere. A lot of students and filmmakers like black and white, and we definitely have some choices for that inside of Premiere. If you click on the Effects tab, and you click in the search window, you could actually just start to type in what you think that you want to do. I want to do a black and white filter, and if I type in black, notice that there's video effects, image control, and the black and white filter comes up. So what I need to do is if the video is on the video tab, I need to click on what's called effects controls. Now that I'm on the effects control tab, I can click and hold down on the effect and come over here and notice the little plus sign next to the hand and I'll let go and I'll drag and drop that particular effect onto the clip. But notice with this particular effect, it's all or nothing. There's no way to really adjust this black and white effect. It's either on or off. It does the job, but you know, what if we actually wanted this to look darker? So there's other ways that we can make our footage black and white too. This is the very basic version. So if I want to get rid of this effect out of the list, I'm going to select it and I'm going to press the delete key. And I'm going to clear my search window down here on effects and I'll go the long route and I'll click on the little triangle and twirl down and let's go to color correction and we're going to twirl down and we're looking for what's called the fast color corrector so here's the fast color corrector and this is actually going to give us more choices to affect the image so I'm going to drag and drop the fast color corrector onto the effects control window and I'll scroll down if I want to stretch this window out a little bit I can by clicking right here and just dragging and stretching it out I could do the same here if for whatever reason I want to make the effect control panel a little bit larger alright so right here under saturation I'm just gonna take this all the way down to zero and notice that I can also achieve the black and white look here but I could also change my output levels if I want to brighten up the clip a little bit or if I wanted to go to the opposite route and actually darken the clip you have a little bit more control inside of the fast color corrector even though we're not trying to correct color our goal was to actually make our footage black and white but we have more control here as you can see by adjusting the output levels I can also adjust input levels if I want to adjust my mid-range or my blacks. If I want to see a before and after, I can go up here and turn on and off the fast color corrector. So this is the basic way to make your footage look black and white inside of Adobe Premiere.